there you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are... a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm... nervous. You just saved an island from descending into total madness. You can handle one drink. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. For a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> mm. hey, boy. What do you say we find out who the real Norseman is with a little drinking contest? I'd say you don't know what you're getting yourself into. been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's child play. Not if it's for Marcos's vineyard. That swill could feel paint from a vase. Marcos? Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. <laughs> Malaga. <laughs> Malaga. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no. No, it's a Greek swear word. It's malaka. Malaka. Laka. Malaka. Malaka. <laughs> That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. Crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. <laughs> Oh, but I still love you! 
Thanks for bringing me to my senses at the fairy pools. I would have missed my daughter's wedding if you hadn't. What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? <laughs> Indeed. Wedding. We actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. <laughs> oh, aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please, regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though. I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. My day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. And there stood Cassandra, looking like an ass. Not too quick on her feet, is she? It took an ambush or two, and one dusty old temple, for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. And despite her transgressions, I'll give her a fresh start. I really thought this would be better. Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day, You're foolish. Uh, bit of a lackluster note to end on. Well, that was certainly something. Maybe you two should stick to saving the day and leave the storytelling to the Scots. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. Together, 
Edith, did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randy, as she foresaw? No. Ranvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night. <laughs>